Hi, how you doing? The name's Yeti. You might be wondering how I found myself in this kind of situation. Well, you see, I decided that all I wanted to do was beat Pike's Beak in the first person. This is how it went. What is going on guys? This Lost Eddie here and today we are here with some Dirt Rally. Today what we're going to be trying to take on is the Pikes Peak, one of the hardest hill climb events in real life, but we're going to be doing it behind the wheel of this Audi Quattro. We're going to be trying to do it in the first person perspective. Let's see how far we can get. Let's get a quick restart and get right into this race. All right, here goes nothing. So we're starting to pull up at the starting line this race uh, for whatever reason you start at speed and we're going to be trying not to throw it into a wall at any waking moment so that's a positive. Now I think the only way that would be more insane would be to try to do this in VR. Alright let's uh, take it from the top guys. We're all compadres. We're all, we're all trying. Now I would be slightly better at this if it wasn't... Okay we're parking the car. Everyone, everyone have good? You good? You good? All right. Goodbye. Please don't throw it into a crowd. Please don't. Th oh, no. He comes. What are we, like, throwing this around a cliff at, like, 100 miles an hour? Yep, that sounds about right. Yep. I feel somewhat more confident in my driving ability. Only somewhat. Only somewhat. Only somewhat. Only somewhat. There we go. Look at that turbo go. Turbo. Power. That's a cliff. That's a cameraman. Bye. Fourth gear is good. Fifth gear, too much. Do you understand this, Yeti? Yes, I understand this, Yeti. Are you gonna do it anyways? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, it's been days that Yeti has been trying to get up this mountain, and after many days, he still has not made it up the mountain. The world is running out of cameramen. They've all had their ankles absolutely clipped off by Yeti. He's driven them all off. Honestly, the fact that there are any spectators here left to witness this is kind of a miracle, to be honest. Audi has run out of cars to provide him. So now he's been just rebadging other cars, slapping on the Audi badge and spraying on some racing stripes and pretending like it's the same car just so that he can have his little fable fantasy over here. Let it be known that his persistence shall pay off in dividends. And we're going to be sticking with that story. Uh, yeah, so a little update, guys. We've been going at this for a little bit. Uh, I've just been way too aggressive. So I've sent it off a cliff a few times. I think we're now somewhat approaching the half an hour amount of... Uh, attempts of getting this to work so the getting it in the first few attempts yeah that that didn't happen but if we land this at all it will be impressive if you're listening to me now it means I've done something right but I won't know that until way after the fact which is good okay a little bit of panic a little bit of clenching that's right the e-brake is not what I thought it would be and yeah, we could throw it down to the first how, how about that you want to just blow the motor that'd be cool too not the best portion of the lap. We could see we're down on time, but didn't did I send it off the cliff? Did I hug a tree? Eh, don't worry, I'll probably come later on this exact run. Doing fine, doing well. Let's not throw it into a well. I wonder if there are any wells on this map. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised at this point. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you haven't seen, I also tried the Nürburgring in VR, and that was a time almost as successful as this, to be honest. Although, oh, what you saw there was my genuine first attempt. And let me tell you, if this was my first attempt, it would be a bloody miracle. Because, frankly, I don't think it's possible for us to not yeet it off a cliff and get a semi-decent time. Ooh, ooh. And also, I should say, every time you yeet off a cliff or hit a pedestrian, there's a 15 second penalty. Which is also why I've just been eating runs. Because I kind of want to just do it in one run. One go. You know, re no restarts. 
real life strats over here, right? The YOLO strats, the all powerful YOLO strats. Like that is what we've come to. And I see that we are approaching the end and there is a god because, oh boy. Please don't send it now, please. I see the end. Send it boys, send it boys, send it boys, send it boys, fifth gear. Fifth gear, no fear. All right, ladies and gents, here's sector two. Hold on to your pants. This will be a good one. We're sporting the Audi Sport Quattro once again. I regret everything. So hi guys, I'm back. I swear, I've been here the whole time. Plotting the demise of the trees. Take your tire and take the turn. That's a strategy, right? That's what people do. That's what people do. That's what people do. That's that's a crowd. That's a crowd. We're through the gate. So we've had a couple good runs in the last handful, so I am hopeful for this guy. If I don't send him in the first couple of hairpins, we actually might have a chance, because that seems to be where most of these runs are dying. To be perfectly honest. Which is kind of kind of good and kind of bad. Kind of good for the respect that, at least that way, hey, I just forgot to shift, so that's positive. Uh, well, we're, we're making our own shortcuts here. Uh, it's kind of good for the respect that at least I can get back into it and just overall improve each time. But bad for the respect that, like, yeah, I probably should be improving and not just dying in the same spot over and over again. Alas, we didn't throw it off that cliff, so I guess that's a positive. That's another spot that I tend to careen off in. For whatever reason, I think that fifth gear is the only gear that you should be using, and full speed is the only speed of what you should be using for maximum zooms. So, like, I, I, I hope you understand why. For some reason, I thought we were supposed to take left there, and that's very much not the case. Now, it would be nice to actually know what the second half of this track looks like, because we haven't gotten there yet, in case you were wondering. That's salvageable. We did take out that cameraman once before, so he probably has a vendetta against us. Oh, I think I clipped that pylon, but somehow we're still killing it, so I'm gonna I'll take that. Where where are we going here? Is there okay. Sorry, that was over the crest and I was like, yep, I can't see a darn thing. Kind of a recurring theme of this track to be honest. Blind boy with microphone in front of face tries to go up mountain. Cargo burr right off the side. Honestly, it'll be a victory even if I just see the halfway part point at this at this point. I feel like with the microphone where it is right now, though, it's like you know those cars that have the mono wiper that do racing. I feel like that's what I'm dealing with, and I'm just like, how do you exist? How do you function? How do you go burr? You know, these are all questions, existential life questions that we ask ourselves in this, in these moments. No, please no, please no. Thank you. Oh, hello campers. You picked the wrong spot. I would just breathe on you and send you into the ether. Alright. I'll be perfectly honest. The higher up it, the more concerned I get. This is, as I've said before, the furthest that I've gotten. And I am very terrified that I'm going to eat myself. This is this is a hairpin. Hello. Yeah, that is definitely a racing line. I got a green sector? That was a green sector? Sorry, focus, focusing. Green sector, for those who are not familiar, like myself, who never gets to see it, is essentially supposedly a good time. And let me tell you, these are not phenomenal times. But the sheer fact that I'm doing it without being able to see a darn thing is a victory in my book. So I will take it. Assuming I can hold on just a little bit longer. That's all I gotta do as I look both ways over this microphone and pray that the, the top of the mountain is coming soon. As I granny my way up it. Hopefully with a semi-decent Time and speed. Speed is power. Oh, is this the finish line? He's done it. He is a god. 
This half was nowhere near as painful. All right, all right, guys. Here comes Sector 3. I think this is the last portion of the race, so we just need to finish strong. Finish strong. Oh, this is going to be like, oh, my God. It's there's it's just instant cliff. There's They don't mess around in this one. All right. Here we go, ladies and gents. Right into the guardrail. This is going to be a good one. Because I'm having a good time. Okay, I thought that was going to be the end of me. I got a red sector, so you know it wasn't a great time. Sixth gear. You're a madman. You're a bad... Yup, you're a madman. Oh... Well, we made it past halfway. Ooh, we are living on the edge of glory right about now. The edge. The edge. The edge. The edge of glory. Alright. This is our moment to shine. First gear hairpin. Beautiful. Done. Going up for the second hairpin. Can we get a good third sector? That's all we're asking for. Not horrible. I'm okay with that. Then we're going to come out of this corner. And we should be seeing a bridge on our right in a second. And then the, then we got to slow the heck down and get it first gear. And take this corner artfully. Now we're going to book it right back to the right in a sec. Look at that. A little bit of map memorization right here. That's okay. That's just fine. Hover the crest. We're going to bang right, then bang left. We don't want to be in fifth gear, and we also want to come out a little bit wider, because if we tuck too low, I think we're going to clip that corner, so we're going to drop it to third. We're not, do not cut. Do not cut. Do not cut. Do not grab the wall either, but do not cut. Much better. Good job, Yeti. You're doing things. Alright, this is already becoming your second furthest run. Just because we're seeing the helicopter again, which is a good sign. Not a good sign because that means that you've only made it beyond this point once prior. And you really should have made it past this point more than this time. But that's okay. This is still by far your cleanest run. So don't throw it away for no good reason because you go, ooh, sixth gear. Because sixth gear is a fun gear, right? It is, and I'm getting a red split there. He has done it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is the first I've been. It's all new foreign territory from here. And I'm hoping it's going to be better ground. Now, can I promise that? No. Because I can't see a darn thing. But we just got to remember consistency is key. Don't let the butterflies get to my stomach yet. Realize this is this is the third out of three sectors. And as long as you keep it calm and cool, collected, all of the above, you will get out the other side okay. And no matter how high the cliffs are, it doesn't matter if you don't throw yourself off. Oh, please, 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 please. I realize I deserve these red sectors. I realize I deserve these red sectors, but I just want to bring it home. I can taste the end of the la map. That seems horrifying. That is horrifying. That is horrifying. Style points. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Don't throw it now. Do not throw it now. It was a bad hairpin, but we didn't hit anybody. And I'm still okay with it. We didn't deal damage. Cut the corner there. Beautiful, beautiful. Take me home to the land where I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, run complete. Oh, it's a miracle. Coming in fourth place, we got a fifth, a fourth, and fourth. I will take it. Wonder what our overall time comes to. A fifth, a fourth, and a fourth will give us fourth overall just outside, just outside the podium. But listen, I, I personal victory, 
personal victory right here because this was all done in the first perspective. You've completed the Open Championship but need 11 more points for promotion. This sounds about right. Better luck next season. Thanks anyways. Well guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and trying to get up Pike's Peak without throwing myself into oblivion. If you enjoyed this kind of content, please leave a like on the episode. Just lets me know what you like, what you don't like. Comment down below if you have any other ideas of similar kind of trials for me to take on. As always, this has been your host, The Lost Getty, and hope to get you guys in the next episode on the channel.